My name is Elmer Berrigan. I'm the president of the Retreat Society. I'm uh, very pleased to, to look around and see this thing uh, getting closer to uh, completion. In fact, uh, I think construction has just about stopped here in July 2005. The stage, uh, Banshell, was an idea that was created about five years ago by a fellow named Dr. Bill Leith, uh, who's an acoustics uh, uh, physicist. Uh, he designed the Expo 67 Banshell, worked for Boeing and uh, Seattle, and was a tech Cominco engineer, well, he's basically dealing with sound. He gave us the first concept. Uh, that concept then uh, went from uh, uh, the idea to uh, reality after we start looking for a fellow that could do the actually sound and sound and the uh, acoustics part uh, there was a bit of a dilemma there because uh, the musicians are uh, of the opinion that if you had an acoustical stage that uh, there'd be not enough diffusion in it to uh, so that the band members could hear each other so we had to find somebody that understood the difference between uh, sound and acoustics or and could marry them together and that came up to being with a guy named Anton Niedersteiner from Kamloops. He uh, very adept at that sort of thing. And the final design concepts that came out in the uh, band shell were really the work of Anton Niedersteiner. The uh, rest of the stage was uh, uh, engineering work was done by uh, 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 MSS Engineering in, uh, in Kelowna. Some of the base work was done by myself, but the construction uh, was done by uh, uh, 15 uh, apprentices from J. Lloyd Crow High School in 2004, along with the uh, people who uh, administered them, they were doing, they did the erection. But the finishing part was the, was the work done by two, uh, basically two people, uh, both retired superintendents, uh, Larry Safrican in the drywall steel studs, and Alec Markin, who uh, uh, did a lot of the carpentry work on the prefab uh, panels that are there. So uh, I think uh, uh, they were the principal people, and then of course everybody else uh, fitted into it. We have some work still to do on the stage. We have to locate exactly where we're going to put the lighting systems in. And that's still something we'd be looking to the uh, artists to tell us, and, uh, and Nieder Steiner himself. And we're looking at uh, uh, some uh, decoration that we have to put up, and that is two logos that we have already designed, and we want to place them on the on the rock facing outside. So uh, today we're looking at a whole pile of people here. We have 350 paying customers on site today, this morning, Saturday, and uh, we expect that's probably going to be 400 before uh, the end of the day. And that's the highest paid attendance we've had. We're looking for a total of 700, that's our capacity here. And all the money that we raise with the band shell, everything we do here is, uh, at this part point, going to uh, new drug and alcohol treatment, Freedom Quest. Do you want to come there? Yeah, sure. I'm Dave. I'm the bass player with the Watch and Lake House Band. Talking to my friend Bob here. It's a great festival once again. Fifth year, first year on the new stage. A little bit wet. Good morning, Bob. My name is Terry Rogers, and I'm MC for the Watch and Lake Music Festival. This is the fifth year, and over the five years, the facilities have just improved so much. You can see behind me. The new, brand new stage, acoustically designed, and uh, this is a great family time here. Uh, we get about four or five hundred people, and it's so casual, relaxed. It's like an extended family coming together for a, a three days of music and fun and fellowship. My name is Anton. Uh, they consulted me to uh, 
design the, this particular stage after about four or five days of meetings and emails back and forth. We came up with um, uh, the requirements that they, they wanted everything. They wanted the uh, stages which should work well for an acoustic set, uh, acapella, and uh, they wanted the stage to work well for electric sets. And, and uh, even can't do that at one stage. It's either going to work for one or the other. So we came up with an idea that uh, we could convert it back and forth. And right now, if you look around, it's set up for a, um, uh, the absorbing panels are out, and it's set up to, for an electric set. And uh, that gives us uh, the opportunity to be a little louder on stage and run some monitors without feedback. And uh, tomorrow morning when we go with the, um, the choir, we're going to take all the uh, absorbing panels and fold them up. They fold up into the wall, and the ones behind us get come off and they go into the uh, storage area. And behind those is a diffusive wall that is um, it, it eliminates any hot spots, but at the same time you can hear. So it's not quite reflective, but it's bright and it's uh, it's a nice even tone all around. So we're looking forward to trying that out. Go ahead. Hi, my name's Jim Stevens. Uh, this is my third year playing at Wachan. Uh, I'm really enjoying working with uh, the house band, making some great country music here, and playing on this fantastic stage they built for us. And I'm certainly looking forward to coming back here in the years to come. Thank you. Are you ready? Uh, my name's Danny Freeway. I'm the guitar player with the house band at Wachan Lake uh, Festival. Really uh, nice to see a brand new stage. Uh, very acoustically designed, easy to play on, easy to listen to from the audience perspective. Uh, they've got a great sound man who helped design the stage, uh, Anton. Um, and the rest of the house band is just an excellent band. They've got a good steel player, a good fiddle player, and a good drummer and bass player. Uh, they're all at the top of their game, and uh, the retreat is is a very peaceful and wonderful little place to, to hang out for a weekend. And I'd recommend. <coughs> yeah, Music Fest 2005. Uh, it a bit rained on uh, yesterday, but it looks like there's a bit of blue sky and some sunshine happening. Uh, this is our fifth year for the Watch Ann Lake Music Festival. We started out very gradually, small. Uh, lost a bit of money the first year. We managed to break even the second year. And we've been uh, getting a number of entertainers and improving the quality of entertainers. Uh, people are, seem to be enjoying it. We're gradually growing in size of uh, uh, audience uh, coming to our area. It's fairly isolated in the Wachan Lakes, but the scenery is gorgeous. Uh, the site has been uh, developed quite a bit. We've got eight cabins now and an administration building, as well as a brand new beautiful stage. My name's Don Walker. I play drums with Bob and the house band here. For 30 years, and uh, I went to all sorts of uh, concerts like these. But uh, I must say that uh, the facility here is uh, second to none, even in Edmonton and the cities that I've been in and played in. Uh, there isn't this kind of amphitheater, and uh, it's very remarkable that uh, this community can do it. And uh, I would say it's a testament to the community that they did do it. They did such a great job, and uh, friendly people. Really, this is uh, more fun than uh, many of the big ones that you go to because everybody's so friendly. You get to meet the people, and uh, and music is good. And uh, I'm glad that they support live music. Being a musician myself, and uh, I just think that that's this kind of thing is uh, what it's all about. Being a musician, people supporting music and uh, culture, and uh, welcoming other people into their community. On the, on the uh, lighter side, uh, it was a lot of fun. And the people
people were very uh, hardy hanging in here in the rain. This year, 2005, it rained every day, <laughs> about ten times every day so far, and uh, you know, the people were very hardy. What? And ladies and gentlemen, back by very popular demand, uh, Banjo Allen with us tonight again, and uh, we're happy to have you here, Banjo, of course. I mentioned a little bit of this last night, but we could have some new folks here today. Um, Banjo's goal is to, to live to 113. He's well on his way to that. He's in his 82nd year. And, uh, in fact, he just had a birthday a couple of weeks ago. So, let's have a rendition of Happy Birthday for him, shall we? Happy Birthday to you. Happy Birthday to you. Happy Birthday, dear Banjo. Happy Birthday to you. Angel's been described as a guy with a Hank Snow voice, and uh, he has a long his musical history and, and uh, has played with the likes of Hank Snow in 1948, as I recall, Wilf Carter in 1949. I know that's probably before some of you were born out there, right? And uh, with Roy Acuff in 1951. He's been playing music since he was 10 years old. And... Uh, I remember asking him why he's called banjo, if he plays the guitar, but um, his, his mother gave him that name. She said he had eyes like Eddie Cantor, banjo eyes, and that's, yeah, that's where that comes from. So uh, I know uh, banjo is delighted to be with us tonight and uh, performing for you, so please welcome, with all of his friends here, Andrew Allen. Thank you very kindly. As I told you.
rain nail off. <laughs> I hope it yeah. falls off for a few more minutes, Banjo, because I just hijacked your performance. <laughs> no, no, that's no problem. And ladies and gentlemen, what I'm going to do now, on your behalf, on my behalf, on behalf of all the people that organize the Watch and Music Festival, it is a really an honor for me to make a special presentation to Banjo. And at this time, I'd like to call his wife, Terrell, out to come and be beside him. She is half of Banjo, for sure. She's just a wonderful girl and a fantastic couple. Love them both dearly. And he's probably thinking, what is that man up to now? <laughs> I'm kind of curious, though. They say behind every successful man is a woman. Is this true? Is that, you're the woman that did this? Yeah, that, uh, this is a very true story. Uh, it probably is, uh, well, I don't know how to say it, but I met Terrell and I when I was 39 and she was 18. We've been married now for 36 years and different ones have said that we'd never make it. Well, we are going to make it. <laughs> She's a wonderful girl. I love her very, very much. Anyway, Banjo, I wrote a speech out here, but there was some kind of a show I saw, a movie, with these Mexican guys, and I'm certainly not trying to uh, upset any Mexican people. And they said, badges, we don't need no stinking badges. Well, I wrote a speech, Banjo, but if I'm saying this from my heart, I certainly don't have to read words off of a speech. I can just say what I feel. But like I said, you've been entertaining people for many, many years. You're a fantastic man. We love to sit down and listen to your words of wisdom when you're speaking, when you're performing. And uh, what I want to do, and it's not just on behalf of the people that are here, but it's on behalf of the people that you have played for for many, many years. And uh, dare I say, probably in places before I was even born, because I'm just a young pup, remember. But on behalf of those people, on behalf of the people that you entertained, in their living rooms, in their homes, in concert halls, wherever. I think it's long overdue that somebody could stand up and, and like I said, on behalf of everyone, say thank you very much for the many, many years that you've entertained all of us people. We've enjoyed it so thoroughly. Now, I don't want to embarrass Banjo. But I just seem to have this pension for doing this to people. I, I do want to relate one little story. And I guess it was a time when I really understood what an incredible voice that Banjo had. When I play, I have to count on Anton to give me a little reverb, a little echo, some delay, to try and make me sound good. This particular day, we were in a house. It was a small house. And Banjo was singing just in the kitchen, a small kitchen even in this small house. And I just could not believe the power and the resonance of this man's voice, just his natural singing, it just blew me away. And to, to, to this day, I will never forget that. What a beautiful sound, what a beautiful voice, and from a very beautiful man. And uh, I mentioned this to Tara last year, and she said, uh, he didn't happen to be standing on top of a stove. When he, was, when he was doing this, and I'm thinking, my God, how could she ever remember that? Banjo was standing on top of a stove. I mean, we're having a party. Don't ask me why he was on the stove, but he was there. Still singing good, though. And also that same day, he uh, seemed to get into this very generous mood, and he promised me and my sisters and whoever else was there chunks of property they had up on the lake. Yeah, you come up, Jimmy, when you're retired, and, and we've got this place all set aside for you. I don't know if you remember that, Banjo, but I'm retired now. I'm hiding my Easter eggs now, that's why. I should remember, but I can't. But anyway, Banjo, I'm very happy to say that I, I was able to handcraft this little Martin guitar and uh, I'd like to read the inscription on it for the people. It says, Banjo, from your fans and friends everywhere, 
Thanks for sharing your music and friendship for so many years. And uh, this guitar, because I made it, I was enabled to uh, instill in it some magic powers. And you just see if this doesn't work. You hang this on your living room wall, and some evening when you're all alone and everything's quiet, I want you to look at this guitar, and you're going to start thinking, and you'll be able to see right through this guitar like it's a magic window banjo, and you're going to be able to see all the friends that you've played for in big halls, in little halls, in living rooms, all the friends that you've thrilled over so many years with your music. And on behalf of everyone here and everyone you've ever entertained banjo, I want to thank you and Terrell from the very bottom of my heart for the music that you've given to all of us. God bless you both. music and it's nice to be out here today to, uh, and even the other years that I've been and, and uh, what it's all about is is, uh, is love and closeness and you got to have your music and my motto is think positive don't think negative two little words that I always preach is I'm sorry it's a hard two little words for people to use but uh, you know, as time goes on, uh, you've got to say, I'm sorry, and just walk away, and, and you'll feel good, you know. And uh, I'm going to be singing two or three songs here today that might touch the hearts of a lot of people out there. And uh, it's just a message that whoever it is that's, uh, you know, out there, and you pretend in some ways that you don't know, and, and uh, you got to get together. You got to think positive, no negatives, and just love everybody. I love the ants. I love everything. I love the trees. I love all you people out there. That's what it's all about. Because as the years go on, it's just like uh, I had a pretty bad year, like I say. And, but I must tell you that uh, maybe you all. Will it doesn't go with this music, but I just got received. I just received my my old age mansion uh, uh, raise, and I got, believe it or not, and it cost them fifty cents to send it to me. I got, and it's printed right on there. I got one percent of one cent. Now that's a dollar twelve a year, so it's going to help. But <laughs> it's going to help, but you know that's you can't look at things like that either. You gotta you gotta just take it with a grain of salt. And, and what we've got out here is we've got our we've got our beautiful friendship with everybody. And, and it's just like earlier I heard on the stage where that young lady talked about the earth and stuff like that. It's all true, and it doesn't cost you nothing. It doesn't cost you a thing, and uh, you've got a piece of peace of mind. Okay, I'm going to get on with a, a song here. It's a repeat from yesterday. I've been requested to sing it. And it's called Summer Wages by Ian Tyson.
Well, good morning, everybody. Uh, my name is Colin Bunt. I'm a country singer, singer-songwriter, have been for 47 years. Enjoy coming out here to the Watch and Music Festival. This is uh, my third time here out of the five that they've had it. And this time we got a little rain, but I think we're going to get through it. Uh, a lot of people here this time, probably more than ever. A good turnout from out of the Okanagan and uh, down around Kamloops and the Shushwab. Good to see all these people, good supporters from far and far and wide. I hope everybody's having a good time. Uh, even though we have a little rain, just uh, pull up your umbrella and have a Good morning, but in spirit we wish you a good morning, and uh, let's hope the skies clear up for us and it warms up for you all. So here's the start of another uh, full day of wonderful music. I just want to mention at this time, if uh, anyone within listening distance is interested in performing on the second stage, you got to see the big boss, Mo, at Mo's office. You can see it or right around the corner here so um, if you'd like to uh, play on the second stage make sure you see Mo. There are quite a few openings still at this time. Now we're kicking off the day with uh, uh, Colin Bunt and uh, for those of us who were here yesterday we had the privilege of listening to Colin. I just want to point out his uh, significant other is Back there, wave your umbrella, would you go please, Barb? Okay. Uh, many of the performers, uh, of course, travel with their significant other, and I'll try and introduce a few of them as the day goes on. Barb has beside her, under a lot of plastic, a number of CDs um, that Colin has uh, cut. Uh, there are, in fact, three different CDs there and six different cassette tapes available. Okay, these uh, have all been recorded in a studio with an eight-piece national sound. So, so uh, and Colin, after uh, this uh, time up here, will be available to sign them for you if you'd like. And, and don't forget, there are a number of products available at the information booth here, and any questions you have, that's where you should be directing them. Colin uh, has developed a reputation as the man with the golden voice. This weather is playing a little havoc with that golden voice, but uh, in the spirit of being a good trooper, he uh, finished uh, his performance last night and is ready to uh, to go again this morning. Colin keeps a busy schedule. He and Barb traveled together and uh, uh, to different parts of the province and other parts of the country. But in the meantime, they, they both like to fish. They like to pick huckleberries, probably to eat huckleberries. And uh, generally they're enjoying the good things of life. Please welcome Colin Bunt. Thank you very much. Uh, it's a pleasure to be here again to open up on uh, Saturday morning. With this great backup band, you can't fail. The only thing that might is my voice. It's uh, pretty damp. and. Uh, if I sound groggy, I am. I'm not a morning singer. <laughs> so bear with me and uh, put your hands together. Here we go. Here's an old Mount Tillis tune called Burning Memories. Tonight I'm burning a load of letters. Burn 
Thank you very much, boys. It never turned into a nice day here. I knew this was going to happen. Strawberry rhubarb. Oh, yeah. There we go. It runs a lot around here. It drives me crazy sometimes. But I was born here and I got roots all the way down the line.
I think what we want to see is an enlightening performance, yes. right? Exactly. Who wants to wait for Bill? Who doesn't want to wait for Bill? Get off the stage! <laughs> Hey, and one last thing, those of you who are sitting farther back, we've moved chairs up, there's more space a little bit closer. You want to be close? Yeah. Okay, boys. It's good for us, too. The closer, the better.
I am so really stinking that you believe it. So, uh, yeah, enough about me. No, we work for him. That's right. I'm going to have everybody wearing blue flame shirts for you, don't I? <laughs> <laughs>
Yeah. 